is your Creative Core? Over the past few videos, you've heard me mention Creative Core a few times. I figure it's about time I took a moment to describe to you what I mean by Creative Core. Scientists and psychologists have been trying to define where our creativity comes from um, for a number of years. More intensely, probably for the last 50 years. Prior to that, uh, a lot of people were given um, credit for creativity as being divinely inspired or something that is just this group of people is born with it and this group of people is not. But when you start taking apart the, the threads of DNA, if you would, or, or the, our genetic structure, there isn't a gene that says uh, person A is going to be more creative than person B. The reality of it is, is that every single pe person on the planet has a creative capacity. Now, unless a person has been brain damaged or has some kind of a brain disease or a trauma, which will somewhat stunt somebody's that person's ability to be able to be creative, everybody is creative. It can it is expressed as I've said before any in a number of different ways, not just restricted to uh, arts or the arts. So, what does it mean to have a creative core? Well, one of the things you can look at is what are the fruit of the of creativity and as an illustration you have an apple let's say an, an apple now this grows on a tree and we're not going to try to create a whole entire metaphor for this illustration but let's just say this is the fruit of your creativity it comes from the stem of who you are as a person and uh, one of the things that I enjoy like about nature is that I enjoy the entire process. So you have a tree that grows up out of the ground, it produces life, it goes into a dormant stage, it produces flowers, those flowers in turn become fruit. And you can see the remnant of a flowering base at the end of a apple. So you see this entire process of creativity being wrapped up in this. Your creative core essentially is made up of what's inside of that fruit. And in the case of an apple, you have seeds. Well, here's a seed here, and there are other seeds. They typically you don't eat the seeds. But uh, th these seeds are, in relationship to you as a human being, are associations. They're thoughts, they're stimuluses that come, or stimuli that come into your being through all of the different sources of information that come toward you. You also have a genetic structure that has certain reflective actions that you're going to have uh, as a result to conditions around you. You get cold, you put something on. You get hot, you take something off. You get hungry, you feed yourself. So there are certain conditions that are externally affecting you, your, phys your physicality, and as a result of that, it evokes a creative response as well. It is, it is these seeds of associations that help to fuel the fruit of your creativity. So what is your creative core? Your creative core essentially is made up of the associations, the thoughts, the processes, the experiences, the stimuli that have come into your life from from birth until where you ever wherever you're at right now. That core is consolidated as as a neural network in your brain that enables you to be able to make choices, make direct, make decisions, take directions in a way that will be creative, new, unique, or um, and or worthwhile and valuable. So your creative core is made up of those experiences that produce the fruit. Now. How you produce that fruit and the yield that you get from that fruit depends largely upon how you cultivate the plant or in the case of you as an individual, how you cultivate yourself to be able to use that creative energy to produce that which you want to in your life. Artistically, new directions, relationships, however you're going to apply these principles that comes from a creative core that is bound by and also unlimited by or unrestricted by the amount of experiences that you produce in your life. Your creative core. 
Essentially, your creative core is this. All of the experiences, all of the processing that you've had in your life as it's being expressed in a product, such as a thought, such as a uh, piece of art, such as a uh, decision, your creative core, something central to who you are and foundation for everything we're going to be discussing over the weeks and months ahead. So until we meet again, go be creative.